Hey guys, it's Melinda again. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be my Trader Joe's haul. I hope you guys enjoy. So um, we're getting ready for some more snow to come in. And so I decided I needed to go to Trader Joe's and stock up on some things just so in case we're not really sure what the weather's gonna be like. And it's gonna probably snow. Um, I think when I looked at the forecast out of the next 13 days, it's supposed to have some chances of snow, eight days out of the 13. Um, so I started with these. Um, I've gotten these before. I don't think I've ever shown them on my channel. Um, I will put the points down. You get 11 crackers for a serving and I really, really like these. They're nice and crunchy. Um, sometimes I break them in, apart and put them on top of a salad. Sometimes I just eat them straight out the box because they're really good. The next thing I got is these almond butter thins. Um, you get seven of them for 140 calories. Uh, I'm gonna use these with this cannoli mixture that I make with yogurt. It's kind of like a bake out of cannoli. Usually we use a plain ice cream cone underneath it, um, but I'm gonna try a couple of these and see how I like them. Uh, they just sounded good and the ingredients are pretty good, so I'm gonna give those a try. I picked up four of the Synergy. This is the Golden Pineapple. It is my favorite. Um, yeah, I just have to have these now. I really, really like them. The next thing I picked up is this sprouted seven grain bread. I really like this. Um, I don't need a huge sandwich, so the size is just right for me. It's just a little, little one. Um, you get two slices for 140 calories and it's really good. I put it in the fridge, um, since it is a sprouted bread and it's great. I love it. The next thing I got is this British style crumpets. Um, when I ring them up on the app, they were three points on blue. I'm pretty sure they are three points across the board for blue, green, and purple, but I will let you know. Um, I think I've had these before, but it was, it's been like a long time since I had them. So I thought I'd give them a try. I also picked up this um, traditional Indian style flatbread. Um, I'm making chicken shawarma this week, and I thought these would be perfect for that. And as usual, restaurant style. Uh, white corn tortilla chips with a hint of salt and lime. Uh, I really like these. My husband really likes these and I bought two bags just so we have them. I picked up this wild raw Argentinian red shrimp. Um, it is zero on blue. I'm not sure about the other plans, so I will let you know. Um, but we're doing a shrimp dish this week and so I picked them up at Trader Joe's because it was less expensive. I picked up two packages of these um, wild boreal blueberries. Uh, I'm planning on making that breakfast dish again, the breakfast casserole with the French toast one. Um, I'll try to remember, if I remember, I'll link the video um, that I made it in. But I got two bags of these. Never a bad thing to have frozen blueberries. I picked up two things of the light Mexican blend cheese. Um, I use this a lot and we use it on taco salad. You can have a quarter of a cup for 80 calories. Picked up some multicolored cauliflower, um, organic rainbow cauliflower. I really like it. Um, I love cauliflower and I like the visual appeal of this as well. And it is 30 calories for a cup. I believe it's zero on all plans, um, but I will double check because I'm not as familiar with purple on what is points and what is not. So I'll let you know. Picked up some petite peas. Uh, I need them for a recipe this week and they're delicious. Another usual culprit, my cucumbers. Had to get them. I got some more of the chicken smoked and dewy sausages. I use these in the egg sticks that I've made in the past. I have a video uh, on my channel where I made the egg sticks um, and I'm gonna make some more. I really, really like this smoked and dewy sausage. It's really good. I picked up two bags of the salad that I get. This is the Les Salades du Midi. Du, du Midi. I'll put it right here so you guys can see it. Um, it is zero points on all plans, I believe, because uh, I don't think there's points on salad, uh, but I will double check as well for that. And then I picked up this Sesame Crunch Chopped Salad Kit. I'm not gonna use it as a salad kit. Um, I bought some spring roll wraps and I'm gonna um, saute this a little bit to make it a little soft, and then I'm gonna wrap it up inside of there to have some spring rolls with. And 
if you were to use the package as is with all the ingredients, it is one cup plus the salad dressing uh, for 130 points. So I'm not sure the points on the salad dressing that comes in it, but I'm not planning on using that. So it really doesn't apply. So it'd be zero points. I picked up a jar of this low fat tomato basil marinara. Um, I'm planning on doing a calzone again this week. Uh, so I thought it was good. Half a cup is 60 calories. I'm not sure on the points since it is low fat. Um, it might be zero or one. Um, I never really count marinara sauce. It's tomatoes. So, um, you know, with a little bit of oil in there, I think it doesn't say oil. It says tomato juice. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna try it out. I've never tried this one before, so I'll let you guys know how it is. I picked this up for my daughter. Uh, this is cold brew concentrate. Um, I really like it. I have some for myself and she doesn't have a Trader Joe's where she lives. So I picked this up for her. The next thing I picked up is this Duca. Um, it is a nut and spice blend. You put it into some olive oil and you can dip your bread into it. Um, it has almonds, uh, sesame seeds, fennel seeds, coriander, anise seeds, and kosher salt in it. I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, you can have two tablespoons for 80 calories. That's not including the oil. So if you're going to put it in oil, make sure you count the points for your oil. But I thought it might be a nice little treat for uh, tomorrow night when, well, actually it'll be tonight when you see this um, for us to try out. So I'll try to keep you posted on this. Maybe I'll post on Instagram about it. I got these for my husband. Not gonna lie, I may have a couple for myself, but they're the Fleur de Sel caramels, um, and they are four pieces for 180 calories. Um, I probably will only have one or two at a time. I, I don't need a lot of it because it's it's really good, but it's very rich. And then the last thing that I got is I got some Trader Joe's onion salt. Um, I have not tried their onion salt, and it seems like it's got a little more to it. I don't know if you can see in there. Uh, than a traditional onion salt you'd buy at the grocery store. So I thought I would give it a shot. Uh, and that is it for my Trader Joe's haul. So um, the next time you see me, I'll be making a Instapot chicken noodle soup for dinner. Okay, so I've got about two and a half pounds of chicken. Um, we're going to start out with that because we need to get that to marinate for a little bit. Um, I'm not going to do like a deep marinate like I normally would. Um, but yeah, so um, I've got a bowl set aside here to put the chicken in as I've cut it. But i got to cut some of this fat off. Uh, the grocery store hid some fat. So let's get rid of that and this bone that I just found and get you cooking. some Greek yogurt, non-fat plain Greek yogurt, and we're going to do three-fourths of a cup. I might have went a little bit over, but that's okay. You can go, it's not an exact measurement like it is with baking. Okay, so let's 
Set that. We're gonna add in two teaspoons of cumin. And then we're gonna add in one and a half teaspoons of paprika. And then we're going to add in some turmeric, one teaspoon more. And then we're going to add in a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, and then we're just gonna mix this up. Oh, I lied. We're gonna put some lemon juice in here. You need to have one tablespoon of lemon juice. about one small lemon's worth. And then we're going to just mix this up. Basically, this is like garam masala um, and Greek yogurt mixed together. You just want to make sure that you get it nice and incorporated because you don't want to have a bite of just plain spice. You want to make sure that it's covering the chicken well kind of does like um, the shawarma is kind of like a tandoori chicken um, but this is obviously without any tandoori being used but it's the same concept if you've ever had Indian food so then we're just gonna pour this in here and you can kind of tell it's like a kind of a kind of looks like um, if you took brown sugar and cream cheese together. That's the kind of texture and look it has. <clears throat> okay, and then you're gonna wanna take a spoon and make sure you st stir this around until everything is covered. You don't wanna have anything uncovered in this. Okay, now we're gonna cut our vegetables. Um, so we have two bell peppers. Last but not least, we are going to cut some cherry tomatoes. Okay, and that's it. This is 
decide to put on our pan. And then it has a, uh, a sauce, a drizzle sauce, but I'm not gonna use that drizzle sauce because I wanna do some tzatziki. It's two small cucumbers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some paper towel down for the cucumber because you have to kind of get rid of the extra moisture in it. So I'm just gonna grate it onto I'm just going to take this to the sink and wring it out real quick. And I'm back. I'm going to unravel this, pop it into our bowl, grab my garbage pail. And what I'm going to do is, this lemon's not the greatest, but it'll work for this. So I'm just going to zest it. When you get a lemon that looks like this, it's starting to dry out, you can zest it and you can lay this, the zest out on a plate for 24 hours um, and then put it into a Ziploc bag and use it just like you would fresh lemon zest. Um, that way you're not wasting it. So I'm just gonna zest the rest of this lemon and then we'll add some lemon juice and Greek yogurt. If you squeeze it with your hand over the top of the lemons, your lemon seeds will stay in the lemon instead of going all over. Okay. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of Greek yogurt to this. We're going to grab our pan. I've got a big sheet pan that I can fit everything onto. I'm going to grab my parchment paper and I'm going to make it a little bit longer than the actual pan. And then we're going to take our chicken and I'm going to put it in one section of the pan. 
You don't want them exactly touching, but if they touch a little bit, it's not a problem. vegetables, which I added over to the side over here. It doesn't matter if they are on top of each other or not. They're going to roast and get all nice and delicious. And I'm just going to take a little bit of olive oil. will go into the oven at 375 and you will be baking it for 30 minutes or so um, it says 25 but with chicken I always go 30 and um, yeah so I'll show you when it's done and here we are straight out of the oven and it looks delicious and I can't wait to dig in okay so now I'm gonna do the one point brownies for this, you need to get three-fourths of a cup of flour. of a cup plus two tablespoons of cocoa. Teaspoon of baking soda. And we need a third of a cup of sweetened applesauce, and I'm going to get to that in a minute. I just want to aerate this um, cocoa powder and flour. Okay, so now we are going to add a third of a cup of applesauce.
third of a cup of egg whites. If you don't have egg whites, you can use eggs separated. Um, you would need three egg whites. And then you need about a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm just gonna eyeball that. And then we're just gonna mix. Sure you're scooping from underneath as well so you can get all the powder ingredients incorporated. And then I'm going to use this. This is an 8x8 pan, but um, I don't have an 8x8 pan, so this is what I'm going to use. That's what I usually use for things like this. And I'm just going to lightly spray it. I made a mess there, didn't I? Oh, is somebody making an appearance in here? Hello, sir. What are you doing? Are you supervising? Huh? Are you supervising? Gotta make sure it's done right, huh? And then you bake it at 350 for 20 minutes until they're, the edges are firm and the center is almost set and it makes 16 bars. And I will show you what it looks like when it's all cooked. 